And uh, I want to begin in verse 45 of chapter 11. And we're going to see the plot to kill Jesus here. It says in verses uh, 45 to 46, Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, that is, the, the raising of Lazarus, her brother, believed in Jesus. So many believed in Jesus. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, like many people would be, uh, the people were divided. You know, we, if I've heard one thing in recent days, more than anything else, inside the church, outside the church, in our country, in our state, and even now around the world, that's, that's the refrain I continue to hear. We are so divided. We are so divided. And we, we want to blame it on, on politics for sure. But at the end of the day, it's not just political. It's spiritual. And, and, and what happens is we, you end up realizing as a Christian, we're in the fight for our lives and for our churches and for our children and for our children's children because of this wrestling with absolute truth. And you're going to land on one side or the other. You're going to land either on the absolute truth side or those who want to be pragmatic and save their own neck side. And that's what's starting to develop in this passage with regard to Jesus. And I've said this before, and it is funny because it is, it is funny, but sometimes the truth is funny. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nice guys don't get crucified. Think about it. Nice guys don't get crucified. See, we got that caricature of Jesus in our minds that he's just a nice guy everybody wants to hang out with. You don't hang somebody on a cross naked, choking on their own blood, beating, he was beaten half to death, whipped half to death. Most, most people didn't, didn't even make it through the whipping. They would just die. You don't do that to somebody unless you are a threat. Unless you're a threat. And so I maintain the fact, nice guys don't cruci get crucified. Threats do. And, and what do I mean that with regard to Jesus? Jesus is a threat to the politicians. Jesus is a threat to the religious leaders of the Bible. Jesus is a threat to people's personal agendas. Jesus is a threat to our own isms and ologies and ideas. He is a threat to us. Because the Bible says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He said, as we saw with the raising of Lazarus, he said, he, he didn't say, let me show you, let me show you the power of the resurrection. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. And to, when that falls on these folks' ears, as we would say, them fighting words. You don't just get to go around and say, hey, I'm God. I'm God's son. And if you say you're God's son, I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you down into the ground, never to return again, to be erased from memory. But that's the thing about the son of God. You cannot keep him in the grave. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. I've got the, I've got the keys to heaven and hell and life and death. You can't yank them out of my hand. I give my life up on my own accord. But when you start talking like that, you're going to make enemies real fast. And, you know, there's that image of Jesus, and there, there's a little bit of truth to it, of, 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 us, of him cuddling us next to the seaside, you know, and the wind is blowing, and, and we're, we have, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a picnic napkin blanket down and there's roses there and you know maybe you know for some of you you know you may have some champagne there for some of you as well just grape juice you know it, you know you get the picture that that's the image that we have of king jesus we don't we don't have this warrior king jesus mentality like we should like shepherds were 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 stinky they were outcast they were not loved very well 
I mean, you wouldn't put you wouldn't put a shepherd on the stand, not in the courtroom. You wouldn't do that because they're not trustworthy. So when Jesus says, I am the great shepherd and you guys are the sheep, that's not very flattering. Because sheep are dumb. Sheep are dumb. I saw a video this week. It's so great how the Lord works out these little little memes and little videos and YouTubes. You know, there are some fringe benefits to social media. I rail on social media a lot, but but there are some benefits, like looking at funny videos. There was a video of this little dog. It had to, it had to have been Fifi. The dog's name had to be Fifi. And that little dog was circling some sheep, and it was not a sheep dog. There's no way it was a sheep dog because you know what sheep dogs look like. They're big and, you know, furry and cuddly and you just want to squeeze them. That was no sheep dog. That was little Fifi that was a mess and a terror. And that, that little Fifi was, was bugging those sheep. And Fifi was circling the sheep. And those sheep were so stupid that they were circling in a circle together. And Fifi's just running around the pasture Run around the pasture around these dogs. I mean, these sheep. Might as well have been dogs. And they run around these sheep. And they were just like, bah, bah. I'm telling you. And then Jesus is the great shepherd over here. And, you know, they hear his voice and finally they react. And it's, that's true to life. There's like zero, nothing flattering about us. To them, there was nothing flattering about Jesus. Isaiah even says there's not much to look at. He's not a Hollywood Brad Pitt lookalike. But the Bible says he is the son of God, the son of man. He is the life and the resurrection that we have always been looking for. And you will not be able to keep him down. And on Easter Sunday that we're going to celebrate really soon, he walked out of that grave and he said, here are your keys. I've had them all along. Nobody can take it from me. And when you, when you go around saying those things and when you go around preaching these things, you know, you make enemies quickly. You do. It's not popular to stand up for the truth.